I absolutely failed to do my job here with the headline that we're going to look at in this video. Before we even look at the headline, I just want to lay some groundwork for what we're about to talk about. Number one, in terms of Cardano as it relates to crypto, this is what I see. And that's all this is. This is just the way that I see things. You all know this channel is my crypto journey. And I'm not here to sell you Cardano at all. But Cardano is a huge interest of mine in the crypto space. And I'm here to track and I'm really curious to see how this plays out again going into this next cycle. We saw how it played out last cycle. I'm really curious to see how this plays out in this next cycle. But before we dive into the headline, I do want to just mention right now, if you look at this Tap Tools homepage, this is a picture of what is happening within Cardano. And this is not happening on other change in the chains in the same sense. And I think there's a lot of people in crypto that are just waiting. They're just, all right, I got my bags packed. I'm waiting for opportunity. There's not enough new people in, in the space entering the space just yet. We're waiting for that next bull cycle for opportunity. Meanwhile, people in, in Cardano land, people in Cardano ecosystem, it's happening in Cardano DeFi. And it's just waking up. This is just the beginning. It's a precursor. People within Cardano are leveraging what's happening in DeFi to see gains. Even if it's just to increase their ADA stack with DeFi. And it's happening. It's, 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 if you can just go to Tap Tools, you start researching the projects that are on here. There's, there's a ton of scams. Just, let's just put it out there. There's a ton of new co tokens at launch that are just no good. Be extremely careful. But this is a picture of what's taking place on Cardano. And it's really important just to kind of, and this is one aspect of it, but I think it's really important to understand this, this context as it relates to what we're about to talk about. This is just a very quick little uh, piece of an article I found. Recent regulatory headwinds in the U.S. may have played a significant role in suppressing Cardano ADA price, but did little to stop the cryptocurrency's adoption. That's kind of what we just said. Now, in terms of all of this regulatory news that has suppressed ADA price, and it really truly has, I'm going to take probably an, an unpopular opinion here, which is to say the timing of this could not be any better. I mentioned it in a video yesterday. And this headline that we're looking at in this video really plays into that. The Indonesian government has released a list of tradable cryptocurrencies, including BTC, ETH, LTC, SOL, ADA, XRP, DOT, SAND, UNI, a total of 500 cryptocurrencies, covering almost all tokens recognized as securities by the SEC. The reason I said I'm doing a really bad job here is because this, this news, and this tweet that I just covered, that's June 17th. I, to be fair, I think a lot of people missed it. It got buried. I really think it got buried in the headlines. But that's really big. And I want to explain why I think that is the case. Before we dig into what is happening within the Indo Indonesian government as it relates to commodities, this is a year ago. Indonesia, world's fourth largest populous country, sets eyes on becoming the crypto capital of Asia. A country with nearly 280 million tech-hungry people, one of the largest markets in Asia, and a huge unbanked population are the factors driving crypto adoption in Indonesia. Robust and receptive regulatory support from government. This is really big because this, and it's not just Indonesia where I think this is going to happen, and this plays into the, the macro story here where I see huge opportunity and great timing for, for, for Cardano right now, but this, this narrative... I think, and we'll find out, I think this narrative is going to, to get some legs. That is Cardano, ADA, as a commodity. Cryptocurrency trading as a commodity in Indonesia is legal and is officially regulated by the Commodities Future Trading Regulatory Agency, a PEPTI. I want to say, this was a year ago, just to remind you, this article was a year ago. Fast adoption of crypto by local tech companies in Indonesia's digital sector is set to surpass $150 billion over the next few years. Here's... Here's the news. XRP, Cardano, ADA, trading given green light in Indonesia. Now, this article, once again, from a week ago, I don't even know how I missed this news. XRP, Cardano, 499 other crypto assets have been given the go-ahead for trading in Indonesia. We just saw kind of what the market looks like. We saw Indonesia's, in this article alone, we saw their foresight in terms of adopting cryptocurrency. And it's all happening right now while the SEC does a terrible job of doing that, kicking innovation, trying to kick innovation out of the States. 
are they going to succeed? I'm not quite sure because we have insane fighters on the front lines for us. Ripple, Coinbase, Binance. Cryptocurrencies in Indonesia are traded alongside commodity contracts. Earlier in June, as many of you know, the SEC roiled the crypto market with its lawsuits against the two biggest crypto exchanges, Binance and Coinbase. I just want to go to a Bitcoin chart to paint, to paint a picture. Bull market for Bitcoin, last one, started post the Bitcoin halving, right? I think in general, even if we get some more upside and maybe downside, I think the next bull market will start after the 2024 halving. And I mentioned this in yesterday's video, but the timing of, of Cardano having to go through what it's going through, namely ADA price being suppressed, whatever's happening right now, we need time for that shift in sentiment. We need some time. Right now, maybe, maybe gains will be lacking, right? If there is a pump for ADA, maybe they won't be. But right now, this time frame for ADA to, to work through everything that's happening and allow for the narratives to change, namely green lights being given, namely this narrative of ADA as a security kind of going away. Because I think in most people's minds that are understanding the facts here and in most people's minds and most countries' minds that are understanding objectively how ADA was released into the world and how it's trading now in secondary markets, it's, a, it's not a security. It's a commodity. And we just, need some, we just need some time for that narrative to catch on. I think it's really good timing. You, you think of something like XRP where this happened for them two years ago. Bad timing. It just unfortunately was bad, but I'm so grateful, and I've said this, that Ripple has been on the front lines for years representing the industry in their fight, in their battle. This happening right now, I think we're getting very close to a brand new narrative, and we just need to be patient. And I want to be very clear, on top of everything and all this news that we're talking about right now, there is something very special happening with Ada, and I know I bring this up in my, in my videos, but there's there's... There's nothing else to pay attention to other than what's happening on chain. We're not in this crazy retail booming bull market yet, right? And nobody knows exactly when that will start, but there's a little mini bull market happening within Cardano prior to the really big bull market. And that is DeFi absolutely exploding. And you can see the chart here. This is DeFi Llama. I talk about it a lot. If you want to get a different perspective of this picture, you go over here to Tap Tools and we just showed it to you. I mean, look at the 30-day 30 30 day gainers on some of these protocols. Good DeFi protocols listed here. And so that's happening on Cardano right now. Let's go look at Ethereum. And this is just an illustration. It's just a different vibe within Cardano right now. It's a new season. It's a brand new era for Cardano. And this is in this time frame where country, you know, a country like Indonesia just straight up adopting cryptocurrency, adopting ADA as a commodity. Binance Smart Chain looks way different than Cardano. Ethereum looks way different than Cardano. Avalanche looks way different than Cardano. Polygon looks way different than Cardano. Why is that? Is it because Cardano is done? Is it because this is the end of Cardano? It's such an underperformer. There, it's just, it had its season Less, less bull market was ridiculous. It outperformed so many, so much of crypto. That was without this. this. That was without DeFi. That was without what Ethereum had already in its previous cycles. This is the beginning for Cardano. I think there's so much opportunity in Cardano, even outside of just ADA. And in terms of valuation, and we can go to coin market cap and just look at that. I'm not sure where it's sitting at right now at this moment. It's sitting at just over $10 billion in terms of valuation as something like Ethereum sits at $226 billion, an all-time high of half a trillion Ethereum has seen, I 100% think this $10 billion valuation for Cardano, it's just so undervalued. I think that. And I think with this time frame that we have until this next bull market, post-2024 halving for Bitcoin, this time frame is a perfect opportunity to evaluate the game, the crypto game as a whole, evaluate narrative, sentiment, be patient, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to sit back, give this time, 
SEC, we there's so many other angles here of of SEC kind of really hurting themselves in this fight, this battle that they're taking up with crypto space in general. Let this thing play out. Cardano, I think, is going to be positioned so well. And uh, this news, don't know how I missed it. Wanted to bring it to you because if I missed it, I'm sure some of you did as well. I know there's people out there. Some of you probably seen this already. That's all good. But it t- it's just another thing that ties into this longer macro story for, for Cardano. And it's something I'm tracking very closely. As you know, I'm tracking the rest of the crypto space, Bitcoin, everything. Cardano, uh, obviously a really big piece of that for me. So let me know your thoughts, everybody, in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts about Cardano ecosystem if you're seeing what I'm seeing. And if you're kind of even just taking part in, in DeFi on Cardano right now. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts. What are your favorite projects? What are you doing out there? Let me know in the comments. I appreciate you. If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe. It's not just Cardano on this YouTube channel. We're bringing it all. Crypto, Bitcoin, analysis, all of it. Turn the notifications on. Hit the like. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.